Well, good day, shoppers and tubes and people that like Princess Auto stuff. <laughs> They've got a pretty good and mega smasher flyer online here. I thought we'd just have a quick browse at her. There's 65 pages, so there's a fair bit of stuff to look through here. So grab yourself some corn and a root beer and uh, we'll have a look at the flyer. So... We've got, these things are handy. These would go in like your drill, and then you could put your sockets on them. Ooh, you know what they're really good for is put your uh, little rechargeable cordless drill and uh, put your uh, three-quarter inch or seven-eighth sockets, whatever it is, and then uh, I use mine for winding down my um, stabilizers on my travel trailer. <laughs> down they go. <laughs> so much better than the hand crank crap. Uh, what else we got? Looks like a trailer tire, actually. There you go. Floor jack, plate compactor. I don't know how well that would work. I guess it's all right. Bunch of wire and some wiring harnesses. That's actually pretty darn cheap. Twelve bucks. Twelve. That doesn't make sense. It's twelve bucks for that thing, but then you get all the wire harness with us too, and it's the same price. So what else we got? Some wheelbarrow tires. Some more. That's like the tires I put on my Kubota trailer we built. Look that guy right there. Wow, it's still seventy-five dollars over a tire. A well, tire and rim, I guess. They're pretty decent tires, but regularly one hundred and thirty bucks. Ouch! Stuff has gotten so expensive in Canada, only because what the premiers did here is they jacked up the price of minimum wage. Well, that's great for the guy that's you know making minimum wage, but they don't realize you know that people that work say at Princess Auto they're probably getting more than minimum wage anyways but some places that people were just getting like you know twelve dollars or eleven dollars minimum wage now it's like fourteen dollars minimum wage they had to put the price of everything up in the stores to pay for the person now so it's like wow that was that was bright thanks a lot guys so now everything's like super wicked expensive here in canada or ontario just for that so anyways some tires that's kind of cool what on earth is that Two inch drop alignment cup. I don't know if I can zoom this in or not here. Sort of. Not the greatest. Maybe we won't try to zoom in. There. Two inch drop alignment cup and industry first alliance and stops trailers from freezer. Oh, I see. So the trailer receiver guy would kind of hit this thing and then just kind of. And then there you go. Guess that would work. More trailer hitches and trailer brakes. Trailer hitches. Class 3 Ford F-150. I wonder if that would fit my truck. Not like I need a new hitch, but there you go. My hitch is still pretty good. Bunch more hitches here, too. Look at this thing. Double six-way adjustable ball mount. Holy cow. That's pretty crazy for 40 bucks. Can't beat that. <gasps> Ooh, that's cool. I could... Hook this on the back of my RV bumper, and then you could put another job our guy thingy on it there, and tow another trailer behind your trailer. I don't think I'd do that, <laughs> but anyways, you could. Well, look at all the stuff they're coming now with for uh, fixing your AC stuff. AC on the go, stop leak. The stop leak does not work. I've tried it in many things. Our old Astro van, for instance, it didn't work at all. It uh, had a maybe a bigger leak than it would seal up, but anyways. Oh, there's my air compressor on sale. I think that's about what I paid for it. Twenty one ninety nine when I bought that. Good compressor. I love that thing. It makes air. Whoo wee! It's hungry though. Likes its electricity. That's cool. Six thousand XL mid rise scissor lift. That looks so dangerous though. <laughs> wow, it's still twenty one hundred dollars. My goodness, that's enough. Oh, some flaring kits. Click type torque wrench. 10 ton hydraulic pump and ram porta power kit. Okay. Oh, there's a jack that'll fall over and kill ya. One of them. Some lights and some. Oh, they finally got in some of these charger maintainer things. Jump starters. That's good. 
think it's sort of one of those I got. Not quite the same as that for inspection. Digital inspection video scope. Code reader. Booster cables. Oh, there's a bottle of slime. That's actually pretty good. That's a liter for 15 bucks. That's a pretty good price. It's not a oh, huge savings, but that's pretty good. I've never tried this stuff, though. And the can just psh, fills it and everything. I never tried that. I don't know if it worked or not. Truck covers, van cover. There's an old Astro van under there. I think that's what that is. That is an Astro van. <laughs> well, I haven't seen one of those forever. Where on earth did they get that picture from, Warner? Now, their strip bar lights here are so expensive there. It's only 13 inch and it's regularly $150. Wow, that's really expensive. Even at 100 bucks, it's still too much. Power Fist Plasma Cutter. There you go. Seven, 650 bucks. Regularly 900 Wow, that's pretty cheap. Nice MIG welder. That Hobart stuff's really getting their name out there now. Seems to be uh, in the Princess Auto now, and they sell that at our TSC as well. They sell that brand there at TSCs here in Ontario. Oh, there's some nice toolbox thingies. Sweet. And some motors, some um, generators, jack hammers. That's pretty cheap too. Two, three hundred bucks. Regularly, well, it's half price, I guess. And some big fans. Some these kind of crappy looking drill things. Oh, pressure washers. Oh, more pressure washers. Wow, look at the holy look at the price of that one. It's a wall mount. 2400 PSI for $1,800. Holy crap, it's normally two grand for that? Wow, I must be missing something on that. My goodness, there's not even a gas motor at all. What size? A five horse? So that'd be 220, I guess. You'd probably have to plug that into 220 power. Holy shnikes. Pressure washer detergent and little weird looking pump thing. Probably goes on like this guy. Uh, pressure washer reels. That's a, actually I should get one of those. Mounts around the wall. That'd be handy. Uh, pressure washer wands. 28 inch, 79 inch. Ooh, I think I've got one that's almost 12 feet. It's 12 feet. Yeah, 10 feet maybe. Pressure washer. Oh, look at the straps. Wow, that's a pretty good, pretty good deal if you like these little, little mini ratchet straps. Eight pieces of them, one inch, not very wide. Ten inch, twelve hundred pounds, uh, working safe load. That's pretty good. Winches and sprayers. A hose reel, little mini wheelbarrow for the little guys. They're even looking pretty chintzy too, aren't they? Wow, this one's not bad. The dual wheel one. That's kind of neat. He's got four wheels on that thing. Garden hose cart. Huh. Now I've been suggested many times, and I think by some of you guys, to get one of these for my weed whacking in the cemetery. But there'd be too much in out and out, in out and out, and then you'd be changing the line all the time. I, I don't know. I think I'm just the handheld weed whacker. Still the best way to do it. Roto tiller. Wow, they're looking pretty chintzy too. Look at the wheels on the back. Piece of junk. That one looks a little beefier though. You might as well spend a little more and get a nice rear tire. And these front tines will just kill you. Horrible things. Chainsaws, hand tools. Ooh. Actually, I gotta send a picture of that to a friend of mine. Now that I see that, just give me one second. Okay. Uh, yeah, he was asking me if he knew anywhere he could get just one of the dome things. I'm like, oh, geez, dude, I don't know. Um, oh, look at that. They finally come back with those ATV disc harrows. Or I guess you could pull up behind a little tractor or something. The trouble is, you'd have to probably have your ground already worked up a little bit. 
because that thing would just be so light it would just float right on top if you're like trying to do new stuff so it would have to be like a worked in garden wouldn't be heavy enough windmill sweet I had a couple of those lasted about five or six years and then they just kind of just disintegrate <laughs> Mosquito repeller or something, that's cool. A few teen guys. Portable fillet fillet table with faucet. <laughs> oh, the cow BB guns. Benjamin! Hand pistol BBs. We're very limited in Canada to uh, foot per second. Uh, 495 is about the highest. Any higher, you have to, you have, to have the... the gun licensing. I do have uh, acquisition license for those kind of things. What it's like, why would you spend you know, a decent, a decent gun that's going to shoot higher than that, which you need a license for, would be like, you know, 450 500 bucks. You must just buy a real gun for that. I don't, I don't understand their logic behind that, but anyways. You buy a 22 for, you know, probably cheapest, maybe under 200 bucks. It depends where you are, but we got here electronic stuff. I eh, don't really need any of that. Electronic silent siren. 102 decibels. Whoo, no thanks. That's too loud. Ah, oh, drone. Sweet. There's soon going to be a day when you will not be able to buy these things anymore. I can, I can see it coming. Uh, that's why I'm glad I got mine now. But uh, yeah, there'll be a day when. Oh, we're just banning everything. You cannot buy them anywhere. Uh, some miscellaneous stuff here. Nothing really. Oh, that's cool. Darth Vader and Stormtrooper lunch pail box things. Toolboxes, it says. Interesting. Uh, drywall hammer. Camouflage chainsaw bag. That's cool. Another gun. Steel BBs. Interesting. Pretty authentic looking, holy crap. You could walk into a frickin' store and probably rob a store with that thing. It looks so bloody real. Page man, 39 to 65. Holy yeah, Still got a long way to go. Try to get through this a little faster, maybe. Go for a mole and rat trap. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, there's another engine for you. What kind is that? Pro point. Wow, they're even doing them now. Holy. Oh, here we go. 24 inch box pan brake, metal brake, slip roll and uh, press brake. That's pretty cool. Portable bandsaw, oil pan, drain pan. Oh, they got my little mini guy here again. That thing's awesome. It's got amazing amount of torque. Yeah, 500 foot pounds. It's it's awesome for a little wee stubby little guy. It's I use it all the time. I don't know if you'd use it at a regular everyday shop, you know, like mechanic shop, but for all I use it, it works great. Sandblasting stuff, paint spray guns. Ah, yes. There's some sandblasting. Soda blasting. That's the new thing. It's been up for a while, but soda blasting. Uh, drilly bit thingies and stuff. Vacuums. Wow, they even got them now for sh dust dust vacuums. That's a good idea. Expensive though. Yeah. Yeah. Micro impact. Oh, there you go. Threading machine. That's cool. Pretty handy little machines if you're doing a lot of pipes. Not many people do that now. They use the PEX and the uh, those uh, snap-on fitting guy things. Oh, there you go, trailer jacks. That's pretty handy. <laughs> Up she goes. Should get one of those for my trailer. Oh man. Boat stuff. Wheel chocks. Oh, that'd be handy. I should get a couple of those. One for the truck and one for our car. I wonder, does it come? You need a little pair of pliers, too, to 
dig out the nail or whatever that's in your tire, but I don't see that. It doesn't seem to have it. Stuff here, those cheesy little receivers there. Some little sump pumps, some pump, pump, pumps here, and gas things, and nice little LED lights, solar powered LED lights. Those are awesome. I got one of those too, and I love it. Sometimes in the winter, it doesn't get a good charge. It doesn't come on that night, but. Ooh, that's a pretty good price too. 50 foot of 10 3 single lit end RV extension cord. I think I've got one of those in her trailer. Uh, yeah, it's probably that exact same one. It looks pretty darn close. Meat slicer, finger end, end your finger slicer. God, before you know it. Um, Pex crimper. Oh, we're at the end of it already. Well, that went faster. What the heck? How do we get to the end of that so fast? Yeah, I guess that's it. Sweet. Yeah, there's some pretty good deals. This is uh, starting up soon here. Uh, May 29th to June 10th. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> Good little flyer. I get this in the mail in paper form, too, but this is pretty nice looking at it like this, too. So, <coughs> anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Oh, these are cool. Clear LED clearance marker penny lights. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Thanks again. Catch you all later. Happy sailing.